friends. How's it feeling? I didn't know I could beatbox like that. Stop it, Tiani. Stop overthinking and just do it. Just do it. Make your dreams come true. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. <gasps> Maybe I could do like hi friends coming in from different angles. Hi friends. Hi friends. Hi friends. Tiani here. Welcome to my channel in the life of Tiani. That feels so weird to say. This is my first YouTube video that I'm doing, obviously, because I don't have any other videos on my channel yet. <laughs> I'm gonna do 20 facts about me so you can get to know me. I asked my friends on Instagram and also people that don't know me to ask me some questions. Uh, my voice is going croaky. Wow. Before I start answering the questions, I'll just give you guys the basic facts about me. I'm 23. I know I do not look my age. I look like a 12 year old. That is fine because that when I'm older and when I'm like 30, 40, I'll look 10 years younger and I'm okay with that. I am from Australia, if you couldn't tell. Gold Coast represent. It's so funny because when I went to America in like 2013, Americans actually thought I was English. I got so offended because I'm 100% Australian. I think I have like a little bit of English on my mum's dad's side, I think. I'm doing a YouTube channel because I like entertaining people and I love making people smile. And I seem to do that with all of my friends. I laugh at myself a lot because I know I'm a complete dork. Hi, my name is Tiani. No, I've grown to love that about myself and I hope you guys love it too. All right, let's get into it. Question number one. Favorite song to pump for a workout? The first thing that comes to my head is Don't you know what pump it up? You got to pump it up. Genetics from Megan Trainor's new album. My genetics. I'm G-E-N-E-T-I-C-A. Or Wasabi by Little Mix. Shady either way you talk about me. Oh, oh, I love the way you talk about me. Oh. Question number two. What is your favorite show that you've ever been a part of? I do community theater. One of my favorite directors that I work with is Clay English. I idolize him so much. He is definitely one of the inspirations in my life. Love you, man. The last show that we did with him was Catch Me If You Can. Oh, my favorite show that I've ever been a part of. Everything about it. I miss it so much. I miss my theater friends. <sighs> Question number three. Who are your acting inspirations? Definitely have to say Meryl Streep is right up there. She's phenomenal. Rachel McAdams, Reese Witherspoon, Chris Hemsworth, there's a whole list. But from watching Game of Thrones is Amelia Clark. Oh my gosh, I idolize her so much. Question number four. What color gumballs do you like? Blue. Blue is my favorite color. Question number five. Dream role in a musical. Ooh. L. Woods from Legally Blonde. Oh my god. I can sing, I can hold a tune as far as like being an ensemble member and giving a few lines to sing by myself. That's as good as I get. <laughs> There's a few questions I got asked that I'm not going to answer because it's a bit personal. Question number six. Favorite song at the moment from my Spotify playlist. We have Megan Trainer, Little Mix, Anne Marie, Ariana Grande, Lizzo. But my favorite song at the moment, Dua Lipa, Pretty Please. Pretty please, every single night I want joy. Song question seven. This is like a two in one. What is your favorite style to dance? So the second part to that question, your favorite style to watch? I'm gonna have to say lyrical because it's so elegant and beautiful and it tells a story. And if you can dance it stunningly, then she's beautiful to watch. 
Um, question eight. Who inspires you the most? My mum. My mum's been through a heck load of things in her life. She's my number one supporter. So she's my number one inspiration. Question number nine. If you could star in any movie, what would it be? That's a good question. There's so many. TV show, easy. Game of Thrones, Friends, Big Bang. But a movie, maybe, oh, I know. Captain Marvel, anything with action, I would love to be in any Marvel movie. Or even just like an agent that goes undercover and has to like fight all these bad people and then she's like a badass. I wanna play a badass. Question number 10. What is your ultimate dream job? Isn't that obvious? An actress? Question number 11. Most embarrassing moment. I hadn't had, hadn't, hadn't had, had, haven't have, have had. To. You could do so, you, you do, you could, you. Oh no. My most embarrassing moments have happened at work. It was like when I first started hosting. At the end of the show, it was a really hot day and I was talking to the kids and I wanted to say, make sure you stay hydrated and keep drinking water and have a good day. What did she say? She said the opposite. Everyone stay dehydrated and have a great day, like not thinking anything of it. The whole food place was filled with people. This mum in the audience. I think you mean hydrated, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you so much for pointing it out. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the support. Question number 12. Biggest fear? Well, everyone that knows me knows the answer to this. I have a massive fear of spiders. Huge. I can sense in the dark if they're in the same room as me or like if I'm walking up to a door that I need to enter and I know that they're there and they know that I have a fear of them and they're not moving. Ugh, I hate them. They just look ugly, not cute. But if we were talking about life, not being happy with my success, that's what I have a fear of. Oh, and I also have a fear of falling. Don't have a fear of heights. I'll like climb upstairs and look down over the view and everything's beautiful and great. But the thought of skydiving, purposely jumping out of a plane to fall and hoping that the parachute will open and save your life terrifies me. It's on my bucket list, I wanna do it. I don't wanna die just yet. Anyways, they're my fears. Question number 13. Everything switches 13. Find your way underground. 13. Dream travel destination. My dream travel destination was Hawaii, already been. My next one would have to be South Africa. Go on a safari, see, ah, oh, see everything. Ugh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> South Africa. And look at all the beautiful animals that they have. Question 14. Have you ever farted before going on stage? Now the person that asked this question knows that I have. Everyone farts in life, right? It's a natural thing. Even if I go to the toilet before going on stage, I get the nervous wheeze and the nervous poos. And this one time, Lucy and I, we were side stage and we always did this thing where we had a little boogie and we did a little dance. And because you don't know if it's gonna smell or not, you kind of just let people know just in case there is a smell. So you're not one of those people that fart and then people smell it and they're like, oh my God, what does that smell? And then you have to embarrassingly say, oh, I farted. Like just, just say that you did it. There's no harm in farting. It's a natural thing. I was like, oh my God, Lucy, I just farted. It stunk. I'm so sorry, Lucy. <laughs> Question number 15. Unicorns or leprechauns? Unicorns, 100%, because they shit rainbows. <laughs> Question 16. How's your day going? Thanks for asking. My day is going beautifully. How's your day going? That's good. Question 17. What is your biggest achievement or accomplishment in life? 
Well, that's a good question. I'm only 23, so I feel like I don't have one yet. Maybe figuring out who I am. When I was younger, I was really confused about who I was and who I wanted to be. And I remember always changing myself around people that I hung out with. I would talk about things that didn't interest me and it wasn't until I studied acting that made me confident in the person that I wanted to be. And then I've kind of just grown ever since then into the person that I am today. So I have to say my biggest accomplishment is probably myself. But hopefully, if I continue acting and study my course and get the job that I want, that will be my next accomplishment. Thank you for that question, by the way. Question 18. How long have you been dancing for? I have been dancing since I was three years old. Question 19. How do you keep motivated? I'm not gonna lie, it's really hard for me to keep motivated. One of the things I do, I write down things as to why I'm doing it just to remind me why I love it so much. With working out, I'll put on my favorite workout music and I'll dance around, jump around and stuff. And then hopefully that will put me in the mood. Last question. Question number 20. Favorite workout. Booty, doing some squats, skipping to get my blood pumping and abs. We did it! I hope you guys enjoyed the 20 facts about me. If you have any more questions, comment below. Or if you have any more suggestions on stuff that you want to see, you can comment that as well. Click the like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, wherever that is, to go on this journey with me. I'm so excited. My videos will be coming out every Tuesday. So, I will see you guys next Tuesday. Tiani out. Tiani out. Yes. Do you guys like it? I like it. Maybe I should come closer. Tiani out. Oh shit, fuck. Tiani out.